I send you through for, for Zach from the Dixons? Thank you. OK, here you go. Thanks. Hello, Zach. Hello. How are you? Hello, Jason. How are you? No, well, thank you. No, d very well indeed. Um, as I say, it's a, a privilege to actually speak to you because, uh, as I say, South Africa is not uh, one of your biggest audiences, I'm sure. But um, I've been uh, following the, well, f following your progress since uh, the FOMA album. Um, Great. So it's actually thank good, you. good to actually speak to. We sort of helped in our small way to try and break it here, which uh, we did on, on on the one single, which is which is great. Great. Well, thank you very much. Mm. And um, more importantly, congratulations on the new album. Thank you. We're uh, definitely um, happy that it's out and, uh, and and very proud of it as well. Good, good, good. Um, sort of an obvious question, if I may. Uh, the success that you had with FOMA, um, was, that, was that sort of totally unexpected, uh, you know, for you a a at the time that it did break as big as it did? Um, I wouldn't say uh, totally unexpected. Um, it was nice when it happened and rewarding, uh, and, and it felt good because we've been a band. Uh, not a lot of people know, you know, but we've been a band for over six years. So mm. it's not something that just happened overnight. It's mm. something that we've, uh, you know, put uh, put a lot of time and a lot of effort and, and a lot of heart and soul into. So uh, when it did finally happen, it was. I don't know if we were surprised. We were just de um, definitely um, uh, relieved, maybe, and, mm. and happy that that you know, great people like us. You know, people um, are, are responding to our music. Mm -hmm. Why Why do you think um, they did respond as well as they did? W what was it about that album that uh, that did it for you? Do you think? Oh man, um, I, obviously a lot of it had to do with the song "Sister." It was a, a song that could definitely reach people and touch people. Mm. Um, and it's uh, still, you know, a special song for us. Mm. Every time we play it, a lot of people ask, you know, doesn't it get old playing that song? But mm. it doesn't. You know, it's a it's a part of our history that we can, you know, that we can always look back on fondly. Mm. And, um, and and I'd like to say that it's it's good music. You know, we always say that it goes it, it always goes back to the music. Mm. Mm. And I mean, what's interesting is that. Um, that worked particularly well for you, um, obviously just based on on how well it did and, and uh, you know where it landed up on on, on the college charts, uh, the album as well. But um, now you've released the new album and it's a departure from what you did on FOMA. Um, are you sort of testing to see, you know, if that commitment is sort of wider than just the one song, you know, like Sister on the first album? You know, I, I don't think it was a conscious thing. Uh, maybe it, it should have been more conscious, but it was really, uh, it was really for us. It was uh, again, you know, it, when I talk about the music and how important that is to us, mm. it, it was. It came down to that. It came down to let's write this song, and um, uh, you know, it's a little different than the last album. It's a little different than Sister. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is a departure, as you said, mm. then fine. If mm. It's a good song. It's a good song. Period, mm. and uh, and we want people to hear it. And, sure. uh, so we put together what we feel like was the best um, of of all our material. We had about 25 to 30 songs to choose from. Sure. We picked the 12 for this brand new album, and mm. uh, and that's what you hear on the album. Mm -hmm. Basically, our 12 favorites. You know. Great, great. Now, as I say, with in putting this album together, you obviously aware of of famous success. Um, did, did, did that sort of help, or uh, was it sort of a bit of a distraction, you know, based on, I mean, that typical, you know, um, people always look to your to your next album to see whether you can maintain that? Yeah. Um, you know what? I think when we wrote the song, uh, you know, before we wrote the song, you know, I, I think there was a certain amount of pressure in that, you know, we, we knew that we better, you know, come through with a good album uh, mm -hmm. musically and... Uh, you know, as far as doing our job uh, of writing the songs and recording them well and performing them well. Um, but once we got the songs put together and, um, uh, you know, sort of breathed a collective sigh of relief, mm. uh, sort of saying, okay, we can still write music and we can still write, um, you know, good songs. And, you know, then we did our job. And to be honest with you, when we deliver it to, uh, to our record company, 
uh, we get to go out on the road and do the fun part, mm-hmm. you know, and, and play for people. Um, uh, and, uh, and it's up to MCA to make sure that, uh, for instance, people like you mm-hmm. uh, get to get the album and, and hear it. And um, and then it's then it's up to you and, and our fans out there to either say we like it or we hate it. Mm-hmm. And there's really not much more we can do. Mm-hmm. So the pressure's off as soon as we uh, as soon as we record the album. As far as I'm concerned, it's still you know it, it's still. Uh, you know, you get nervous occasionally. Mm. You know, are we gonna, are we gonna repeat that success? Are we gonna do better? Are we gonna build on it? Mm. We certainly hope so. Mm. Mm. Um, mm. But, uh, but we're just, you know, out here kind of doing our job at this point. Sure. And I mean, w- when the album came out to the point where you sort of find yourselves now, um, how has that album, uh, how has the new album actually been received? Um, especially with you playing as, as live as much as you do, um, are people as excited? Uh, to to hear that new material. Yeah, they are, and it's that's that's maybe the most refreshing thing for us because we are a touring band. And we, you know, it's you know if if the crowds that we play in front of um, don't dig the music, then we're definitely doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. And so far, it's been it's been really great. We've we're still relatively um, young as far as into this mm-hmm. new album campaign, mm-hmm. but. Uh, but so far, so good. You know, Baton Rouge, the first single, mm. went to number two on the, the rock charts in America. Mm-hmm. And we've just released our next single, The Fall. Mm-hmm. And we're expecting even greater things from it. So, uh, mm-hmm. so yeah, so far it's great to look out there and see people singing not only the lyrics to Sister mm. uh, off the last album, but new songs, you mm. know, which tells me, great, these people are going out there and not just buying the album, but they're actually enjoying it and, mm. and listening. Mm-hmm. And as I say, when if if you had to sort of obviously compare um, the the way in which you put the songs together for Foma and then putting the tracks together for the new album, um, did sort of the um, the amount of focus that was on you um, and sort of the expectations from people sort of help you in in, in putting this album together? Because um, on listening to the new album, there's there is sort of an element of maturity. But even though the band, as you say, is, is going on six years now, uh, the fact that you've now been in the in the sort of in the limelight, as it were, and the focus being on you, did that did that sort of uh, have any effect on 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 how you actually uh, constructed and chose those tracks for the album? Again, um, not really. We recorded a lot of it had to do with where we recorded. We recorded in a barn. Um, that had been converted into a studio in the middle of Massachusetts, literally a, an hour and a half from any major city. Wow. So we didn't have any distractions. The record company wasn't coming in, breathing over our shoulders, saying, you know, you better do this, you know, you better live up to this. Mm. They sort of let us go and record a Nixon's album. Mm. And, um, and so, no, there weren't really any distractions. And mm. we never, I don't remember a time that I ever thought, um, you know, well, we've you know, we got to live up to this. Mm. Uh, once we wrote the songs, we sort of just put uh, put on blinders and, and sort of just focused on this album, mm. these songs, mm. and, and really had a, had a fun time doing it. Mm. It, was, it, was, it was just one of those experiences that I'll always sort of look back on and, and be, you know, with a smile. Mm, mm. And, um, I mean, yes, you, um, I think part, part of your success is that you are sort of obviously eager um, to get out there and play to the people who are, are buying your music, um, the passion that you that you have when when you play live is 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 that sort of evident on the new album? Does does that sort of come across uh, in the tracks? I hope so. Um, we recorded again in the, the atmosphere that we recorded in. We sat up set up live every night and just you know would play and record. Obviously, we'd go do overdubs, but mm. for the most part, we were we tried to ca- capture that live. Um, energy, sort of the essence of, of what the Nixons are, mm. and uh, and that is, you know, a, a touring band that that you know at the end of every show mm. we're drenched in sweat, and and uh, and everyone in the audience is, is hopefully physically and mentally exhausted, and, mm. and go away, you know, really feeling like they were, you know, hit across the head with the Nixons. <laughs> yeah. And so I hope, yeah, that that uh, uh, you know part of that at least comes through in the in the album. And the people hear that and, and can be um, equally as moved. Mm-hmm. And so the um, again the success that you had with with FOMA, did that sort of afford you 
uh, besides obviously being left alone to record the album in your you know in your own way and in your own un unique sort of way without having that pressure did it did, did that success with FOMA afford you anything that uh, perhaps you didn't have um, when you recorded uh, the first album yeah I think so I think it you know it just gave us uh, it, the first album sort of legitimized us you know when, you know, mm. when we first came when we first released FOMA um, no one knew uh, in, in the United States or in the world mm. knew who the Nixons are and with this next album at least people have heard of us maybe we're not a household name yet mm. but people have heard of the Nixons and uh, and maybe they maybe they'll pop open the, the cassette or CD and, and listen to it based on that and, uh, and and so yeah I mean I felt like you know I feel like if anything there was less pressure in that sense mm. you know it's it's not we're you know we're we're not starting you know completely from from nothing we do have a foundation that we now can go build on mm, 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 mm. and uh, to say interestingly no title I mean it's a, an obvious question I'm sure and been asked a many uh, a great many times but uh, the message that it sort of sends out to me is that uh, the Nixons don't need sort of a title for an album it, this is the Nixons kind of uh, kind of message that's very much what it is uh, you uh, you definitely definitely hit the nail on the head we we have a new bass player we're a new band you, you know just uh, emotionally and mentally and uh, so yeah the, there's no no title needed this is the Nixon this is our album and um, you know and here's the band mm. you know, listen to listen to this album and know that it's not uh, you know it, it's it's not anything more or less than what we are right now at this stage in our history, mm, mm, mm. and uh, and it's a new beginning for us. So, you know, it's self-titled, or you know, yeah, 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 it's just us. You know. uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, ha have your views sort of changed on on sort of where you are as a band? I mean, let's say going for for six years, having success, um, you know, relatively sort of later on than uh, as you say not straight away and overnight um, from from that point to where you are now when you sort of look back um, is anything sort of perhaps uh, ways that you had, you had looked at the whole music scene has any part of that actually changed now that you you know that you you're, you're at a point where you know you can you, you are seen as being one of the, the the top top bands in America at the moment um. Yeah, you know, I think that your, uh, you know, your view of, of anything changes as you get closer to it, or or you actually become a part of it. And uh, yeah, I mean, we learn every day that it's uh, it's a crazy business, actually, the music mm. business and the entertainment business as a whole. Mm. And uh, and you, you you learn that, and sometimes you just have to, you know, kind of take a step back and and smile and and you know say sometimes it's not necessarily the real the world it's it's it can sometimes almost seem like make believe you know mm. um, but you know you really just have to take um, both the, the really surreal positive and negative things that happen to you mm. with a grain of salt mm. um, you know if you start to take anything too seriously including yourself mm. is when you'll probably get uh, either an ulcer or uh, mm. or just go completely mental mm. and uh, so you know we have a lot of fun with it. Um, you know, we uh, you know uh, saw a documentary on the Who, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they they definitely were were an intense band, but they also had a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'd like to think we have a, a certain element of that as well. Mm -hmm. So there's so there isn't really any any part of what you do that you perhaps um, sort of precious about. Well, I say not not that you afforded that kind of uh, sort of liberty, but. Uh, as I say, you, um, in releasing an album, obviously on a commercial label, you basically putting your music out to a mass market for for interpretation. And that feedback that you get, do you do you sort of take 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 that seriously and and then sort of feed from it? Oh yeah, I mean it's definitely always nice to hear. You know, when you when I got on the phone with you, you know, you complimented us on the on the new album and congratulated us. That's always nice to hear. Mm. Um, and so those are the things that you, you know, you, 
you sort of take and and uh, and build and build on on those things, you know, and and the you know the fans that come up to you and and just you know tell you you're my favorite band and and you know I love this song or that mm -hmm. song and. Mm -hmm. um, those are the things that really make it all worthwhile, to be honest, mm, you know? mm. uh, and, and make it, you know, a great, a great job we have. Mm -hmm. and, and and when you look back over sort of the last six years, is, is there sort of any particular time, um, or uh, that actually sort of stands out as being sort of particularly uh, fulfilling to, to you to sort of look back and think, you know, this is this is really good, or this is really happening for you, and that you were sort of in a happy place. Um, you know what? We we get to those points quite often, actually. And uh, on the release of this album, we all felt, you know, really, you know, really uh, satisfied, and, and like we had, you know, really done something special. Mm. We were in New York City, and we uh, had a full day of interviews, and we went out that night and just sort of, you know, sat around at a at a, at a bar and, and had a drink, and you know. Just the four of us, you know, mm -hmm. and just said, you know, here, way to go, you know, and 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 then and then went back out and, and started working. Mm -hmm. We got to open for Kiss last year, yeah, uh, for a couple weeks, mm -hmm. and and that was another one of those, you know, points that you, you know, you really just smile mm -hmm. and, and pinch yourself and say, I can't believe I'm actually here. Mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. But we uh, we're, we're pretty lucky in the sense that, you know, uh, we've had highs, really high highs, and and um, we definitely had the the lows. You know, mm -hmm. but, uh, mm -hmm. but when I look back, you know, and think about it, as, as you just, um, you know, asked me to do, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, um, I feel pretty good just thinking about it right now, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I feel pretty lucky and fortunate to be put in, into this situation. Mm -hmm. is, it, is, it, is it sort of a, a very sort of stressful place to be? Oh, it can be. It can be extremely stressful, you know, but uh, at the same time, it can be the most rewarding thing that I could imagine. Mm, 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 mm. Zach, if I could ask you um, one last favor, if I can. Um, this is going to be going out in, in print as well as uh, on a show that I do for College Radio um, out here. Okay. Um, I have a, a show with a very cliched name. It's called The Cutting Edge. Um, okay. If you could perhaps just say hi, this is Zach uh, from the Nixons, and you're listening to The Cutting Edge, that would be great. Cutting Edge. That's right. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Hello there, this is Zach from the Nixons, and you are listening to The Cutting Edge. Excellent. Um, Zach, thank you very, very much again for your time, and uh, to say congratulations again on the album. I think it's, uh, just I was, I was anxious to, to get my hands on this, uh, on the new album, just based on, on, on what had happened uh, with FOMA. And uh, the interesting thing here is that, uh, You've actually appeared on a number of compilations um, to the point of Sister, because obviously the new album is still very new. Um, but uh, as I say, you, uh, you the, the the compilations um, have actually sold uh, primarily on the back of of, of your track. So um, <laughs> wow, yeah. So that's something you know to to think about. You know. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Nice to hear. Thank you very much. It was, a, it was a pleasure talking to you. No, thanks very much, Zach, and good luck again. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.